All right, let's unbox the Deluxe M900 Pro. Now, this is the newest release from Deluxe. As you can see, I will not be able to do a complete full review. I kind of sliced my finger open, so I need to get stitches. So, unfortunately, I will not be able to do, like, a full, full review. I can get an idea of how the mouse feels and hand and everything. It's going to take about one and a half more weeks to heal. So, get that out of the way. I'll show you guys the back. We've got ergonomic form factor. This is basically a Death Adder V3 clone, but it's two millimeters shorter in length and one millimeter shorter in height, I believe. Of course, we have up to 8K polling. I don't use any of that. I prefer 1K just because you get the most battery life and it barely affects performance. 1 to 8K, even on my Razer Viper V2, I don't feel a single difference. They feel the same to me. So I've always been a huge proponent of just saving your battery life. This comes in white, black, and red. However, they did not have the red colorway, so I think it would have gone well with my mouse pad, but obviously I went with black just because that's what I had at the time. I believe white sold out, so we'll see. I'm very excited. This has an RGB charging dock, just like the OG uh, Viper Ultimate did. So should be good. Obviously we have a 3395 top of the line sensor. Soon we'll be getting 3950s on their next mice, I believe. So inside the box, we have some extra mouse feet, some grip tape, a little QR code. That probably is for the driver's software and a little manual. This is RGB. I'll show you guys that right now, actually. So yeah, this is the dongle right here. Very nice. I'm going to plug it in for you guys just to see. Let's unplug the Z2 and plug this in just so you guys can get an idea. Here's how this looks. Very nice. Very pretty. Here it says the M M900 charging dock. Make sure you remove this film so that way you can stick to your desk. And there's your RGB light button so you have different settings, different modes. I think I'd like to keep it on this just because it's clean. Very clean. And then you just rest your mouse up when you want to charge it. I'm going to bring out my Death Adder V3 Pro and see how it compares. All right. In terms of looks, it does appear to be a slightly smaller. Oh yeah, no, this is good. Oh, this is very good. Let me see. I think I might like it more than the Zhao Pen. Obviously I can just use my ring finger and act like that is a middle finger. Overall, they both feel pretty good, but this one is much more comfortable. And then these also have, I believe, Wano Blue Shell Pink Dots. That's what it feels like. They feel the same as the switches that are in here. Yeah, I believe they're using Wano Blue Shell Pink Dots just based off of the feel. Scroll wheel is excellent. Wow, very good QC. Look at that. No pre-travel, no post-travel on either Mouse 4 or Mouse 5. Very good. Look at that. Wow. Barely any pre-travel. No post-travel. A little bit of post-travel on mouse too, but again, it's not going to affect anything. Let's turn this on. What do we have here? Just a uh, charging cable, I'm assuming. Yep, and in here we just have a charging cable. Obviously, my thing is already plugged in. All right, so to pair the M900 Pro with the dongle, all you have to do is peel this off. You'll see we have a USB here. Take this out. This face is downwards. Just plug it in like this. And that's about it. We're all good to go now. Overall, this is an extremely comfortable mouse. Here's how it looks in comparison to the Xiaopin. It's a quite a bit longer, about three millimeters longer in length. As you can see here, it's also a taller mouse, but it feels excellent in the hand. I'm a huge, huge fan of the way this feels. I can tell, oh yeah, this is, this is an extremely comfortable mouse. Using it with my left hand, just because obviously I can't get the full feel. This one, you just drop it in when you're done and it's just like that, super easy. Super easy, very nice. Big fan of that. Deluxe always hits it out the ballpark because they basically will take existing razor mice, drop the dimensions by about two millimeters, and then they just become instantly more comfortable. For instance, we have the M800 Ultra, which is a more comfortable Viper V2 Pro. Just because it's three millimeters shorter, this is a 124 millimeter mouse versus the Viper V2 Pro, which is a 127 millimeter. And then this is a 126 millimeter, whereas the standard Death Adder V3 Pro is 128 millimeters. So this was always like, it's a comfortable mouse, but it's just super bulky. It's just like, I don't have maneuverability just because it's such a big mouse. It's such a huge shape. Even though I have massive hands, and you can see, I have huge hands, 22 by 11. However, it's just always too big of a shape when it comes to really fast movement games. This is good for something like Valorant where you don't really need that much movement or you're being very static. However, for something like COD where I'm always moving like this and I need super fast flicks and 180s, it's just not, not ideal. This mouse is like infinitely more comfortable. Yeah, in hand it's just way better. 
it's just a tad bit shorter in terms of height. However, in terms of length, that's where this really shines. As you can see, I have them lined up perfectly and you can see how much shorter it is of a mouse, 126 versus 128 millimeters. And then in terms of width, they're kind of similar. I would say that the width and the height are, are very similar on these two. However, the length is where this shines because you have that same elevated feel. However, because the mouse is shorter, you have like a natural claw grip almost. You can easily palm this if you have smaller hands though. But for me having 22 by 11 hands, this forces me to play claw grip, but in a comfortable way. It's like relaxed claw essentially. And because of that, I have much more maneuverability versus you can see here because it's a longer shape, I'm basically forced to play very close to a palm grip and so I don't have maneuverability when I need it whereas this one I can move really fast whenever I want whereas this one like I could do it but it's it's much more uncomfortable and my hand ends up getting sore because it ends up feeling very unnatural I'll show you guys how to download the software real quick but overall I think this is going to be a very very good main for me I'm going to take off these skates though and I'm going to put on my ESP Tiger Ice V2s other than that though this mouse is built very tough very rugged no flex, no flex at all actually. 63 grams, so same exact weight as this. Obviously when I put on dots, it's gonna drop the weight to about 60 to 61. But overall, you guys don't have to worry about QC or anything like that. This is very high quality, at least my batch, extremely high quality. I've never had an issue with the Lux mice. Here we have the M800 Ultra, you can see zero flex. Very good quality from the Lux every time. I'm very excited for their next mouse, whether it's called the M1000, but you guys are, I'm hoping you guys enjoy that one. That one is going to be even better than this, and this is probably going to be my new main. I'm really happy to see Ergos making a comeback. I mean, we got two great Chinese Ergos, both $45, both excellent, very good prices on both. This one has 8K, this one has 4K, and this one also has hot swap little switches. Um, this one doesn't, but you don't need hot swap little switches, in my opinion, when you have Wano blue shell pink dots because you basically have one of the best switches on the market and they're very satisfying very high quality last 80 million clicks you don't have to, you don't have to worry about that i mean these are both excellent mice you can't go wrong with either i personally prefer this m900 pro just because the shape fits my hand size better and it's a much more comfortable dav 3 pro so can't go wrong with this one you're gonna love it let's show you guys how to download the software and go through the software real quick all right guys i'm gonna leave a link in the description to the device driver all you have to do is click on the link in the description and it will download the device driver immediately all you have to do is open it up it's going to say windows protected your pc that happens with all chinese mice drivers so just hit run anyway download it of course english next wherever you want to put it i'm just going to put it on my c drive just because it's probably a small file then you launch it and then obviously here we go here's our device you can see i've got 88 percent and then all you want to do is change up your DPI settings, polling rate settings. Obviously, we have up to 8,000 polling rate on this mouse, which is insane for a $45 mouse, guys. But I'm going to set it to 1,000 just because, I mean, every time I've tried 8K, it just doesn't feel any different. And a lot of games don't even support more than 4K. A lot of games don't even support more than 2K, in fact. But yeah, I just keep it at 1K. We're going to go to key response time. We're going to drop that to 2 milliseconds. Keep both of these off. Motion sync, turn that on. Sleep management, I like to keep it at about two to three minutes. And then other than that, I personally play on one DPI setting only, so I'm gonna turn all of these off. In fact, my DPI setting is 1200, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna set this over to here and then turn that off. And now we're on the 1200 DPI setting. And that's exactly what I use. And you're basically good to go. That's all you need to know about that Deluxe M900 Pro. This is an excellent mouse. I think you guys are going to really like this one. $45, 8,000 polling, 8K polling, really comfortable shape, more comfortable than the Death Adder V3 Pro, more maneuverability than the Death Adder V3 Pro, much more suitable for first person shooters that are fast paced, very comfortable. Excellent mouse overall. Let me know if you guys want a video review on the Xiaopin Z2 Pro. It's a little bit saturated now. That's why I was thinking maybe it's best to do a little video on the M900 Pro since I don't think anybody's done a review on that one. 10 out of 10 mouse for sure. I'm really enjoying it. I'm excited to get some game time in it in a couple days. Maybe I'll try to record some X-Defying gameplay. I'm going to have to play with my ring finger to aim, but we'll see what we can do. Thank you guys for watching and peace out.